All right, guys, here's our inside portion here. We got two two inch PVC pipes, so we'll rework those. It looks like there's a slight slope on this closest PVC. If not, we can cut it off here, go through this way, and then 45 down that way. And that's the other PVC pipe going that way. Our return drop pipe, what we'll end up doing is taking it all loose from here, extending it out, and then dropping a whole new return drop down. It's a Gaudi humidifier, so we'll give options for a new one. Floor drain is over there. So we'll plan on going there. We might give an option for a condensate pump. If we do, we got a stand pipe over there we can go to. Line set, we'll flush or replace. If we do replace, I actually ran it down that way. To go around the stairs, came down that way, and wrap back around to go that way. We do end up doing a new one. We can take it and just go straight this way. Hop underneath one joist to that guy there. That's a straight shot over to where we're going to be working. A little bit easier. Steps to get up are right here. Rework gas line, we'll cut the mufflers out from the old pulse furnace, new drop, new media. Depending on the furnace, we'll go back with the base. All right, guys, here's our unit outside. So as you can see, they got both of them kind of crammed up against the patio. We're actually going to looking at replacing this unit. Nothing with that one for now. We're going to actually move that unit closer this way. So get it closer to the door. I know it's going to be in front of the window, but we don't really have much of a choice with where it's sitting. And that way we can pre-plan to give that unit room and space when it's time to replace that guy. Then it'll give us room to be able to open that disconnect and everything. The lines come in behind the wall. And you got easy access. So you got a driveway coming up that side. Or you can get around on this side of the house. Driveway's a little bit easier.